Holy crap, guys, it's daytime and the skeleton's burning, but I'm still riding it. Oh my gosh. I put the fire out. Look at him. <laughs> follow me, follow me, follow me into my basement. Welcome back to ScrambleCraft, everybody. I'm your host, Kraken Kid. And today, we have uh, actually started organizing things a little bit, as you can tell. We are moving up in the world, and we are going to have some golden chests all around instead of some double chests. And actually, one of these golden chests is bigger than a full double chest. So this is going to be a huge advantage for our collection. Uh, the reason I started doing this is, take a look. I have a one spot left before I fill up the entire chest of soups. That is crazy. Well, it's not all soups. Like, it's just anything in a bowl goes into this chest. So, it's pretty cool that we actually have that many items. And that's not the only one. I mean, if you come on over here, just check it out. The stair chest is almost full. The slab chest is getting full. So, is it the fence and fence gate. So, as you can see, our collection is just growing exponentially. Especially with all these crazy new things getting added to Scramble Crab, like the hoppers and the crazy part is i still have so many dump chests to go through i probably have like another 10 double chests and then like three or four golden chests up there just a bunch of random stuff everywhere that needs to be sorted through so they would probably be over full if i did not do this so i'm gonna work on this for a little bit longer and then we're going to start our daily adventure i'll see you guys in a little bit well guys i've been working on for about a half hour and i'm not even that far this is going to take way longer than i thought so i'm probably gonna stop here for the time being look at i only got like up to there <laughs> but the cool part is it's going to condense this so much and that's gonna leave so much more room for you know collections and maybe we won't have to store as much out in the back but take a look because a lot of you guys wanted to know what kind of armor sets i had and what pieces i had and the way i had it organized before was a little bit confusing because i had the helmets then the chest plates and the legs and the boots well now they're all together and we're going to do it set by set so as you can see the only set we have fully completed is the knight armor so we have the entire set we have two other armor sets that are one piece away and i didn't even realize that and then you could just go down the line and these are all from the aoa mod so we have two entire chests that are full of the aoa sets and as you can see there's a lot that we only have one of so there's a lot of armor pieces that we are still missing it's honestly insane how much there is in this mod pack and then we have this chest over here, which has the vanilla stuff and then the tech gun stuff. So we have full iron armor, we got half diamond, etc, etc. And then if you come down here, we got all the tech gun stuff, you know, the random ones that are junky. But then you have the good tech guns ones, like over here. And we have the advanced combat helmet as well as the chest plate. So if we could get the other two pieces of that, that would be amazing because they don't have to be powered. Now, there's two other sets that are better than the advanced combat, but they need to be powered. So, we also have to get the machine that will power these. So, we got the exosuit and the power armor, which we only have the boots for. So, there is a lot of stuff that we still have to go out and collect to be the ultimate scramble craft player in the world. And we're going to do that uh, with the help of our mob farm, with the help of the shulker boxes and hoppers, which I have over here. I mean, there, there's just items everywhere. So I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to go on a little bit of an adventure. Maybe head to Cannibal's base. You know, since we have a war going on with him. Now, somebody told me he did sneak into my base. Um, He didn't take much from what i gathered i guess he stole one of my mortar and pestles and a few other recipes and oh he took some of my carved runes the ones that i had duplicates of so he he wasn't too mean he could have stole like the the one of a kind items like my thanos gauntlet which is super rare where did that just go what just happened no oh my gosh i think it deleted itself because i took it out and it was kind of like a nulled item 
I don't think that was a, a real item. Oh my gosh. I think it just turned into that random recipe school because that's what it was supposed to be originally. What the heck? This is no. <laughs> I should have left it in there and never took it out. Oh my gosh. That, that, that is a big blow to the heart right there. Thanos gauntlet is gone, guys. What the heck? How is there a tech gun zombie inside my base? Dude, you need to get away from me. All right, so let's go into our sword chest, which is now over here. Yeah, so the swords and all that stuff that was over here got moved over here because we have so much more room. It's insane. Guys, I'm going to go get my inventory sorted. We're going to go out. We're going to go to Cannibal Crab's base. Find a way to sneak into that underground cavern that you guys told me about. And then hopefully do some damage. We are just about ready to head to Cannibal Crab's base to go retrieve my items. And, you know, when we're going, we're going to have these hoppers set up. So we might get some awesome loot by the time we come back. Still have some copper coins, but I am running low compared to what I used to have. So we should probably start stocking back up on those. So if you remember, uh, last time I rode Twinkle... Using the flying saddle pet. Rest in peace, Twinkle. Um, and this time, I wanted to take another mob there. Now, the only problem was I was out of food for the flying saddle pet, which is diamond nuggets. However, I can make some because all I need to do is go mine some of that concrete that's outside and use it with the iron bars, and that gives me nine diamond nuggets. So we're going to go do that real quick. I think I have, like, one diamond nugget. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to go take the iron bars, which I have right here, and go out there and get some of that concrete so we can feed our flying saddle pet and make our way over to the trader's base. I don't even like saying his name anymore. So, hopefully this stuff mines up pretty fast. It does. Nice. We're going to be out, in and out of here in no time. Please work. All right. Here we go, Dine diamond nuggets. We're gonna go ahead and double that up since we may mined enough. And now we have a full flying saddle pet. That is awesome, man. Now we gotta figure out what kind of mob are we flying to Cannibal Crab's base. Well, I think we'll take the googly-eyed skeleton. This is probably my favorite pet ever. Holy crap, guys, it's daytime and the skeleton's burning, but I'm still riding it. I'm not sure if it's already... Wait, can I put the fire out? Oh my gosh. I put the fire out. Look at him. <laughs> this is crazy. Now he's back on fire. I, I, There's like a 10% chance he's already dead. And as soon as I get off him, he's going to just like disappear. But... Because <laughs> it looks like it's got a little bit of shake to it. I think he's dead. This is hilarious. I'm riding a dead googly-eyed skeleton through the skies to Cannibal's old base now let's see how far away are we whoa i got a little bit off track i should be going this way thank you guys so much for uh helping me out with this well i shouldn't say that yet because who knows nobody <laughs> i haven't gotten it yet so there's a good chance some of you might have been trying to trick me oh no he wasn't dead hey buddy i'm sorry um thanks for the ride you know you, you do i owe you anything for the uber ride no? Okay. Well, that's nice. I hope you enjoy your day. Wait for it! Boom. So, from the sounds of it, guys, it should be somewhere near this lava stream. That's what somebody told me. You better have been telling the truth. If you're lying to me, I'm, I'm gonna kick your butt, okay? Hopefully we break into it soon. I haven't seen anything yet. Okay, I found the lava stream. And I'm not seeing no base yet. Hang on. What do we have here? Looks like we have some water inflow. I'm going to be uh, careful about this. So I don't end up dying. Oh! Do we have a secret little tunnel down to his base? Of course. This is definitely a cannibal build because he didn't mine this out. This better not be a trap, guys. I'm going down the world's longest water slide for this. And I'm even trying to fix his build as I go down. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm mad at him. 
Wait, it just stops? Oh no, it doesn't. What's down here? That is a place block if I ever seen one. Oh, we found something! I don't know what kind of contraption he's doing, but that looks like a water flow for a farm or something. Oh! I dropped down. All right, uh, so let's put this up here. We are in a secret base, guys. Look at all his banners. Okay, he's got a bunch of statues. Hmm. Where are my items? The tree grotto? Oh, he's trying to make an underground farm just like I did. Wonder where he got that idea. Snowman gr Oh, he knows about the snowman, guys. That's not good. Looks like his died, though. Mine died, too. Oh! The first chest I go into and I find a knight's guard and an LMG. Well, thank you. That's probably the item I was missing most. My LMG. Well, it's good to have you back. Now, let's see what else is in here. What else is mine? All right, that's all just random. Oh, my gosh. He needs to organize his chest, too. I'm not the only one. He's got lots of snowballs. That's like a lot. Oh, he's got the Millennium Great Blade. Okay, here's all his pets. <gasps> he's got different ones that I got. He's got a torch pet. Actually, maybe it's just the torch pet and the shield pet. I don't think I have a shield pet. Maybe I do. There's my lead pet. Finally, now I can tame Twink. Oh my gosh, never mind. Twinkle's gone. I was gonna say, finally, I can tame Twinkle again, but no, I can't because she's gone. I need my pendant. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just got a saucepan. This is the thing Cody needs to make his son. He'll pay me a million dollars for this. And guess what? Campbell Crab stole one of my Pam Sarver's craft items, so that's only fair. I'm taking a saucepan. That'll be the only. Oh, he's got the treat bag. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Here's the pendant. And then the silk touch pendant is. Finally back where it belongs, baby. I think that's all the items that I actually care about. We literally got the best item. Oh, he had another. Oh, I didn't realize he had another biome pet. We have that one. Man, I was hoping he had a nether portal pet because I probably would have took that too. Ooh, moon pet. Reverses gravity of mobs and items. That one sounds interesting. I'm not going to take it because I, I like collecting the stuff myself. I think it's fun to try to collect items. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's take a few of his melons. So apparently people were telling me that you can get random items. As I was just saying that from breaking melons now. So I'm just going to do these. It's not destroying his farm, guys. You know, this is like they're going to grow back before he probably even logs on the server. And if a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm not destroying his entire base right now. Well, I'm trying to be a little bit reserved because I think I'm a lot further along than him and I don't want to make him quit the game. I just want to hurt him like he hurt me. So I think I decided instead of blowing up everything he owns, I'm just going to murder him over and over and over and over and over and over again the next time I see him on the server. So he's not on right now. So right now we're just taking our items and looking at what he has. There is a million of these one kinds of banners. So. I'm pretty sure he has a better Great Blade than mine. Somebody was saying he had a God Great Blade. I don't see that. <gasps> Name tag! Oh, I want to take that so bad. I want the name tag. Oh, I want the name tag. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. I might come back for the name tag. Because then I can, get another, I can get another pet that'll last forever. Ooh, I'm not sure if I want to take that. No. Well, let's go see what he's got down this hallway. Where does this go? Oh, I think this is an exit, so I don't want to go this way. Why is this so long, dude? And he doesn't even have it lit up. Does he know monsters are going to spawn here? There's no slabs, no light. Underground flower. Miner's delight. Makes a pecan sapling. Well, I think I'll take one of each of you. Thank you very much. I'll take the miner's delight and I'll take a pecan sapling. All right, let's go over here. He's got a nice ravine. It's a shame he didn't light it up, though, so you could explore it without worrying about mobs. What the heck? 
That was so creepy, turning and just seeing this thing in the middle of the hallway. Ooh. It is a uh, new type of chickadee that I have not seen before. There's one torch. Down this whole thing. Wait, I see some chest. I kind of want to get a few more of these ancient rocks. I don't have this by me. So guys, uh, let me know, since I decided I'm not going to blow up his entire base. Um, I, I actually ran out of rockets too, so I'd have to make more. But what should I do to him? How should I prank him? And how should I murder him? Because I'm definitely going to be getting revenge. Don't you worry. I love revenge because my name is Cracky Revenge is what we do. Forgiveness is not an option. Not yet. Not until we have had our revenge. What's down here? Is that a traitor? It is. Oh, it's one of those assassin ones. I've traded. Oh! Metal slugs. I need those. I need those. It's another type of bullet. Uh, crap. I didn't bring any coins with me. They're all in the hopper. So I was just on my way out and... I noticed there is actually a spawner up here from a dungeon and a pitfall. So I think this is like his budget mob farm, maybe? This must be a budget mob farm. That's what I'm guessing. Oh my gosh. If we were actually friends right now, I'd teach him how to make a real one. But this is kind of funny. And it's not even like spawning very much. One skeleton's dropped to wait all that time for a mob to spawn all right i'm gonna get out of here and get back to my base and we're gonna check those shulker boxes and see what kind of awesome lootations we got while we were on this little adventure actually i just remembered i can do slash bed and get there instantly oh caps lock caps lock come on slash bed oh would you look at that i love that update can't believe cody waited so long to tell us so the hoppers are both empty I don't think we're gonna have too many items in here, but should be some. Backpack tank, copper coins. We got a fried egg. And the Apaco shower, we already have that one. Mark maker, already have that one. Nothing new. We got another supremacy sword. Maybe a few new food items, but nothing too spectacular. I was kind of hoping we'd get one really good item. I'm going to give it one more shot, guys, before we do the fans of the day. So I'm going to let all these coins run out. Well, it's that time. They should be done. And let's go see what we got. Guys, we're going to pick the fans of the day before we look in these chests. So congratulations to Meow Plays and Giddy B Gamer. You guys are the fans of the day. If you want to be the next fan of the day, all you got to do is comment down below. Hashtag LMG because we have received our LMG back from Campbell Crab. He was so gracious enough to invite us to his home. And we have some pranks to be pulling on him soon. So yeah, you got to comment down below. Hashtag LMG as well as subscribe with notifications on. And guys, we're about to see if we got some epic Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so it doesn't look like we got too much more from this one. Yeah, nothing really special. And then over here, we have the water balloon launcher, which we have... <gasps> poison helmet! Poison helmet! Poison! Actually, and the poison chest plate? What the heck? And a skeletal axe? Okay, this one was a lot better. A Paco shower. That's old, that's old. This is new, uh, I think, maybe? Yes, it's a new gun for the fungus thing. Holy crap, this one was a lot luckier than the one over here. So, if you don't know why I'm so excited, it's because that's two new pieces to the poison set, which we have the legs for already. But check it out! That's almost another set right there! All we need is the boots! Oh my gosh, this has turned out to be quite a good episode guys all right i hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like if you did and we'll catch you in the next one Bye.